Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I just wanna thank everybody so much for watching my videos and subscribing. Um, I've like gone way over my goal for this summer. So I want to just thank you all so much for that. It means a lot, it really does. Um, so today's video, we are, we're vaccinating all the cows and we're fly pouring all the cows at the same time. Um, see behind me, we've already set up. Ben and Alex have already done all the dry cows. Um, it's milking time now, so we're just going to set two of all the milk cows. Um, so we're jabbing for lepto, BBD and um, yeah, fly pouring. Just see if we've actually got some lepto and BBD out. Let me just, yeah, so we're on lepto and BBD. So we've got guns from both just for ease, it makes it dead fast. We've got one that goes um under the skin and the other goes in the muscle and then i think ben will be on with that he's been doing it with the dry cows and then we'll fly pour and everything it's that time of year again when the flies start coming out we end up we fly pour i reckon three times a year uh just to keep them flies away stop them pestering them and that uh so yeah we're just gonna start milking and crack on so we've started fly pouring and jabbing the 14 which is like sick cows new calf cows all that sort of stuff and if you watched my um, LDA video, this is the girl that had the stomach operation and we're just taking her stitches out now. Nice neat job, isn't it? Yeah, it's healed up well, is it? Okay. It's got a bit of a nut in there. Perfect. How does it do that bowl? Uh, 25. Here's another one. So the BBD does 50 doses. The phone was just confused because it says 50 on both, but that's only 50 mils. So this will only do what, 25 cows? Yeah. And this one will do 100. 100. No, 50 doses. 50. Right, we're really bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? That says 50 doses on, that says 50 mil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Everything's done, they can go. Yeah. Uh, where I turn there, yeah. And where cows come out, to be fair. And then just all up race side. Okay. 
dickhead. Fuck's <laughs> sake. I want to let you get you. A bad needle. Go on, gate. Oh, hang on. Yet. Put the first one on. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to have so many if you're going to bend them on gates. Don't worry, 50 cows down. We've done 50 already. What? We've done 50 already. everything that we've done here the down here I'll show you time there they are these are all just waiting I reckon we've done about 60 70 so these will be going all up top in a minute just chilling in the sun Just waiting. 
waiting for Richie to open up and let him in their main building now. scraping up we actually has to be fast because uh cornflakes are here servicing all the tractors and they want that one next uh so anyway because there's only so much jabbing you can watch without it being really boring i thought i'd come and show you the new building which i've got a clip which i'll insert first right so i'm just come to the top of the yard and i've not actually shown anything of our new building on youtube yet so i'm just up here now um so yeah, we're putting a new shed up, which is just for the overflow of the milk cows. We've, we've too many in both buildings, so we're putting up another building, which this is gonna hold 106 cubicles. Um, so yeah, so this is what they've been on with. They've got a fair way with it, because they go up so fast. Um, I'll explain the whole channel system in a minute, because that's just been one big disaster this morning. So they're gonna have to change the plans with that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's gonna hold 106 cows, milk cows, um, it's opposite our top 70, if you've watched my farm tour video, um, you'll know what I'm on about there. Um, so yeah, and they're just, the lads are actually just on with concreting. Um, so if you can see here, that is the feed trough, and then and they're just concreting the track on the outside of it, uh, where Ben will be running up and down when he's feeding and what have you. So they're just on with that today. So yeah. It would be all exciting but it's not really going to plan today so but i'll be able to take you along hopefully the more interesting bits of getting the cubicles in and um, getting the cows in all that sort of stuff will be a lot more interesting to watch well in my opinion anyway maybe not to yours i'm not really a builder don't really know what's going on if i'm honest i'm just you know winging it And then you can finish off all the runway because you don't want to you don't want to put your heel stone on and then have a join no and your heel stone should be one or one four but also if you ever catch it with a scraper or something you'll pluck this end of the heel stone out because it's only a couple of days long right yeah um, just gonna get ben to explain what's going on here because it's been a little bit of a disaster hasn't it yeah it's not gone to plan this morning no so um, yeah, the idea was this is going to be a walkway at the end of uh, the three rows of cubicles um, and we wanted this whole area slatted so what they were going to do was dig out the channels, fill them up, pour concrete in, wait for all that to go off and then they could dig the middle out which would leave us a big channel and then we've got a few supporting beams and then we'd have slatted all this end but yeah. when the literally 10 minutes before the cement wagon turned up it all started caving in it's just the type of clay that it is it's sandy clay so yeah it's a plan b but no one has a plan b yet so. <laughs> all in good time so yeah i'll show you round as you can see in there it's all collapsed in so they can't go along with the original plan i think there's more even more even over here that's where the supporting beams are gonna go so if you see the bit that he's dug out here, that's where the supporting beam is going to go. Same again over there. And this side looks even worse. As you can see, it's all collapsed here. So I'm not going to jump over there because it'll end up falling in. Take you down this other end. So yeah, major disaster. On to plan B. So see where they've got up to. So I put the clip in before, 
And then this is where they're up to now. This is plan B. So they're now shuttering the walls. So they didn't do this in the first place because it's just been a lot more work for them. As you can see, they've dug out all the side, they've dug out all the hole and they're now shuttering the walls of what they were gonna do with their, on the previous video. You'll see, I'm not gonna explain it because you'll see the difference. Um, not actually a lot else I can show you in here. I think I've explained quite a bit on my other clip. Then this will be the, the feeding um, area. And then here we'll have a head-to-head -head cubicles, another um, walkway, and then cubicles up against the wall as well. And they're gonna have walkways down either side, water trough down either side. Um, so yeah, that's where it's up to at the minute. I suppose it is pretty boring. This is something I should time-lapse or something. Right, I'm no builder, so I'm not even gonna try and explain what's going on, because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um, I'll have to come back when the builders are back. It's it's late now, we've um, finished milking and that, so they, the builders have left. Um, so I'll come back up, but I'll definitely be um, adding more and more of the building. I'm, I think it'll be more exciting when we're putting like the cubicles in and stuff. Well, I think it will be anyway. So when the cubicles go in, I can't wait for the cows to go in, that'll be a good video. Um, so yeah, until it gets a bit more exciting, I'll do, I'll put like snippets in here and there so everyone can see like the progress and how we're getting on with it. But like I say, I am no builder, so I don't even know what's going on. Um, and I can't explain it very well. So yeah, I can show you, but I can't explain. So that is that, right. I'm gonna leave the video there for now, guys. Uh, I just wanna thank again, everyone for watching. Um, everyone for subscribing honestly it means so much to me i'm absolutely over the moon with how well my channel is doing i can't believe it um my goal was for this summer to get to 5,000 subscribers um and when we're, we're near enough at 10,000, and that's in i started it in what february so february march april may that's in four months so i'm literally over the moon so thank you to everyone that subscribed everyone who's watched um, everyone that's commented just everyone I'm like thank you so much um so yeah i'll um i'm gonna leave it there guys but if you haven't subscribed please 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 do i'll leave all the information at the bottom follow me on instagram and i'll see you on the next one bye guys